So, great. Hey, everybody. Uh, I do want to do a close-up with the new kittens this morning and try to announce their name and stuff, but it's going to be a little while before I get to that. And Custard is in here playing really cute with all the kittens. So by the time I got the start, uh, this close-up started, he was walking away. Uh, but I have to keep watching the stream. I'm sure he'll be back to play with them more. He's also really enjoying this little silver vine matchstick thing. It's got a feather sticking out of the end. Oh. I'm going to sneeze. Trinko, hi. Hi, Trinko, hi. So uh, anyway, yeah, I guess this didn't work, just like always. Um, but I will catch up with all of you in just a little bit. Let's see if we can name all these kittens or not. Without any cheating whatsoever. Uh, who we got? Let's see. This should probably be... Nope. Okay, that's wrong. Already off to a bad start. I'm looking for Hoodwink first. I want to go in order. That's you. So this is Hoodwink, and you can tell by the way uh, he's got... Uh, she's got one eye covered with the gray, sort of like a hood wink, right? Easy to remember. That's pretty much her distinguishing feature. She's a day old, by the way. A day? No, two days. Uh, I've lost track of all time and space, so I have no idea. It is two days. Yes, that's correct. Two days old. There you go. That's hood wink is her name. You can see, other than that, she's pretty gray. She's got a white collar that doesn't quite connect. All right. That's our first kitten. Now, number two kitten is, uh, let's see, got a white collar. Here we go. That does connect. I'm pretty sure that's going to be this little uh, girl guy uh, here. Hogwash. Hogwash? Okay. There we go. I think that's correct. Hogwash, uh, you can tell because he's got the collar that goes all the way around. I know, buddy. And because he likes to yell. Yes, you did establish that on the first day. That you were going to be the one that yells the most. So that's Hogwash, I, I think. I'm just going by memory here, and I, I hope I'm not wrong. So number three should be the one that's this one. Uh, and has a real distinctive dot on his shoulder blades. Her shoulder is her. I don't, you know what? Uh, look on the chart. I'm not checking again right now. But the thing that I'm using to identify uh, hogwash so far, hogwash? No, flim flam. There we go. That was hogwash last. This one's flim flam. I'm not cheating. Uh, flim flam, uh, the way you can tell is uh, this is what I look for this, this white stripe that ends halfway across his back, uh, her back, its back. There we go. Um, that's, that's what I look for. So that's Flim Flam. And this is Flim Flam's little face. What a cutie pie. All right. Get back in there with your mom. And then number four over here. There we go. Number four is uh, Mayhem. And you can tell Mayhem because of the little white, uh, little, sorry, the white forehead with the little dot right in the middle of the, of the head. Do you see a little dot right in the middle there? Very distinctive. And the all white face, that's, uh, that's um, mayhem. Yes, there we go, mayhem. There is mayhem. Very distinctive little forehead dot. You can see the rest if you want. There you go. And that leaves us with one last kitten, who is Bamboozle. Oh, what a name. Bamboozle is uh, also mostly gray. I might, have, uh, I might have shown you him already, actually. Now that they're getting so big, I get confused. No, nope, there we go. It's this one. Yep, okay, there you go. 
I think I got that right. So this would be bamboozle. Bamboozle is the smallest one by a pretty fair margin. Somebody's got to be the smallest. Uh, but bamboozle is also eating very well, and she's going to get caught up in no time. So uh, she, her gains are fantastic. She's just she's just very very tiny. <laughs> And you can see she's mostly gray, and her collar almost looks like it goes all the way around, but there is a little tiny bit of gray that connects her head to the body there. Oh. And otherwise a pretty symmetrical face. <laughs> such a cutie, such a teeny tiny cutie. My goodness, you wouldn't believe. Like holding a tiny little bird. Look at that. Of course, they're all pretty small right now, but she... Are you reading the names? Okay. There you go. So that's our names. I just thought I'd give you a quick intro. I don't know if I'll get back here to do another little video of them if they're running around or playing or fighting or anything, but I'll try. <laughs> uh, now is probably a good time for me to mention that it's very normal for mom cats to pant. It's normal for them to uh, kind of sometimes kind of sit on their kids a little bit. Uh, nobody gets hurt. At least they're all fine. So I wouldn't worry about those things. Uh, it's also normal for them to spot uh, a little bit of blood here and there for a few days, although I haven't seen any of those things from her. But uh, I'm mentioning it just in case you do. You don't need to panic. Hi, sweetheart. And, uh, of course, their mom is Cahoots, and Cahoots is, has uh, just really come into her own now. I think she might have been feeling a little bad with all those kittens in her. I mean, who can blame her? That's a lot of kittens to have to carry around. But now, um, now that she's delivered them, she seems like she's feeling better. She's happier. She likes to snuggle with me more and with them, of course. She's getting up and, and eating her food and using the litter box and stuff, so she's not afraid to leave them here for a little bit, go around the room. Just a very uh, good, responsible mom. Exactly what we like to see. And, uh, and a fastidious cleaner. Uh, she keeps these kittens very clean. So. All good. <laughs> the fighting is also normal. That's how they grow up to be big and strong. You gotta work those muscles. Their little legs right now are just so skinny. They're like little sticks. And fighting helps them uh, turn into big cats. It also keeps them stimulated, you know, in nursing. I, I think I mentioned before, one of the tricks that DJ and I use uh, when a kitten's, you know, maybe not eating enough, uh, if we can get them latched on, then uh, every time they sort of slow down and stop nursing, you just start petting them or touching their head. And they're like, no, no, no. And they start nursing again. So uh, I think the fighting also helps with that a bit. All comes together. They sound like little guinea pigs. <laughs> she's just pushing him around. She's cleaning so much. I think most of you know this. Um, mom cats, for you know, the first month, really, um, before the kittens know how to use the litter box, uh, they end up uh, cleaning all that. They they just uh, that's what stimulates them to poop and pee in the first place when mom starts licking them. So that's a. I mean, you think being a human parent is tough? Wow. Uh, that's where all their pee and poop goes for about a month and five kids. It's a lot.
so cute. All right. But you can keep watching on the other cameras here. What are you looking for? Where's your kids at? You want me to put them back in there? It's like, okay, now wait a minute. Okay, so they're not in here. They are over there. Are those the same kittens? Even you can't tell if they're the same, can you? They all look the same. Go eat some more. I got the kids, don't worry. All right, you want me to start putting them back in there with you? Here, there you go, there's one. I'm not gonna do these in order, but we are gonna look at their little faces. Actually, we might actually, is that in order so far? How did that happen? Well, then this is number four. Oh, it's a weird coincidence. I really wasn't trying. <laughs> Don't put your claws in your eye, pal. 